Hello everybody, I'm Yusuf at FM and welcome back to the YouTube channel and obviously to this Sheffield Wednesday save. Now, two big things. So today we've got Cardiff. Uh, I've sorted out the squad. We'll have a quick look at that in a moment. But first of all, um, this I did not expect. <laughs> so it does look like we are playing the Carabao Cup today. Purely because it's Sheffield United. Uh, if it was anyone else or any other team that was uh, well any other team basically I probably wouldn't have played it because uh, like I said I don't really care too much about Carabao Cup but it's Sheffield United how can I pass it up but yeah today we've got Cardiff away uh, obviously we're starting rock bottom because of the minus six uh, Watford beat uh, Middlesbrough by 1-0 uh, on the Friday before today um, which is interesting well it's also expected I guess uh, but we're going to tactics I sorted out the starting 11 this is what we're dealing with. So we've got Westwood in goal. We've got Iorfa, Borna, Lees and Van Aken in defence. Then Pelopessi, unfortunately. <laughs> then we've got Barry Bannon and Luongo. Adam Reach, Kadeem Harris and Patterson. And then for substitutes we've got Wildsmith, Deli Bashiru, uh, Liam Palmer, Jordan Rhodes, Elias Kachunga, uh, Marriott, Windass, Dunkley and Izzy Brown. So... I know it says familiarity is low and intensity is high, but that will so um, soon change. It might take a few games to break into it, I guess. So without further ado, let's play our first game of the season. I don't know why it's showing me this. I don't need that. Um, I'm ignoring this because whenever I've done this, it hasn't really brought me good luck. To be fair, I'm actually quite happy with what we've got at the moment. Well, other than that, we'll do that. Um, other than that, I'm quite happy with what we've got, so we'll have to see. Like I say, I'm not expecting it to be a fast start, although I'd like it to be. Um, that's good. So, only a couple of reds here and quite a bit of green. Right, so let's get started. This is Cardiff. Uh, yeah, we'll just play it safe. Come on, lads, show me what you can do. Right, so first game of the season in the championship, and it is against Cardiff. Right, let's see what we can do. Come on, boys. So Pelopessi passes to Borna now, and that is terrible from Borna. <laughs> yep, just give, give the ball away, lad. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. God, this game's awfully slow. Hold on, hold on. Let me sort this out. Yeah, that's better. There we go. So, yes, we are starting Westwood. We are starting Westwood here, and I said I would, um, purely because he is our number one goalkeeper, regardless of his, of his mistakes in real life that he sometimes makes, he is better than, you know, Wildsmith and, uh, and well, so hold on a minute, here comes Harris, oh, not bad, not bad at all, from Wednesday there, well, from Kadeem Harris in, in, in general. Not a bad start to the game. That looks on target to me, though. It's not gone down as on target. We'll go on, Baron. Baron? Bannon? <laughs> Getting his first name and last name mixed up. But yeah, that was a shot on target. I could have sworn, unless my eyes are deceiving me. We're, we're, we're getting shots in. We're just not getting them on target. That could have been dangerous from Cardiff there. There's Bannon. To Reach. Reach is trying to push forward now. Reach has a shot, and that's off target. Why would you have a shot? I mean, I know in real life he has a pretty good foot on him, but... That wasn't great, mate. So <laughs> uh, we're going to fire up, fire up the boys here. Reach to Iorfa. Iorfa's really forward at the moment. That's a goal! Oh my goodness me, that almost went in as well. That would have been quite some goal. We've had five shots and none on target. What? That's my luck. <laughs> But we're not playing too bad, actually. Oh, I say that this might go in, won't it? This is going to go in. Oh, you know what? If that did, I I probably would have headbutted my desk. <laughs> it's a bit of a poor game in terms of shots on target, isn't it? For, for both teams, they've had two and and none on target right now. Although that could be that could change right now. Containing him. Very well, his rolls. Oh, it's... Oh! 
Kuna just narrowly misses that as well. I could see this being nil nil this 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 entire game because we don't. So we're going to go a little bit more attacking because we are getting forward. We're just not putting the chances away. Van Aken is here. Is Harris? Harris looks to have a shot for some reason. They need to fix that because. I've noticed that with the last couple of football manager games now, that players like to have a shot from ridiculous angles. Um, but the XG is positive, look. We are doing better, albeit no shots on target, but then again, neither have they. Um, so we are, in terms of XG, we're doing okay, and I think performance-wise, we definitely are doing okay. We're having a lot of possession in their half, um, and we're defending really well when they're, when they're in our half. I am pleased with how things are going. Uh, I'm not going to make any substitutions just yet because I don't feel like they're needed. But we are going to get going. Sorry about the lag, by the way. Um, I do have a relatively oldish PC, so sometimes it may. Sometimes I have good days of performance, sometimes I won't. Because I have uh, Streamlabs open recording this, um, that's kind of why it may be hampering performance. But yeah, so we've had now nine shots and zero on target. We've gone attacking. So hopefully that can... Oh, we've got a corner as well here. Let's see what we can do from here. Bannon's corner goes in and Harris's header is just over. Just over. Oh, but they've got a free kick now. Free kick goes in. There's Bennett. Oh, Bakuna scores. That was poor defending. That was really poor defending. Poor goalkeeping as well from Westwood by the looks of it. Oh, let's have a look at this. So, ball goes in. There's Bennett. Oh, Westwood should have caught that. That was that was poor from Westwood, that. That was very poor from Westwood. And now Cardiff are coming forward again. Bennett. Rolls. Back to Bennett, to Wilson. Cardiff seeing a lot of possession now. They, they they seem a bit more confident. Might have to change our, change our tactical approach here. But here comes Adam Reach now. He's running forward with the ball now. And he gives it away. Of course he does. That doesn't surprise me. Here's Wilson. Oh, again, Westwood should be catching it. He's putting it behind for a corner. What's he doing? Now Reach, don't give it away, please. My players need to get forward. Oh, Reach is having a really poor game. Reach is having a really poor game. I actually, I might have to consider taking him off as well. Reach is having a really poor game. I'm going to play Izzy Brown unlike uh, anyone else who's in charge this season. See what you can do, you know. This is not the ideal start to the season. This is not the ideal start. Here's Izzy Brown, crosses in, looks for Harris. He can't find Harris. And Oj, oh, Jesus. That could have been bad. Could try playing in 2D view, actually. That does help. But we'll give it a chance. Streamlabs is definitely interfering with that. And that's Brown, oh my goodness me, and that's why no one ever plays him. I'm joking. And that's full time at the Cardiff City Stadium. We've lost 1 0 to Cardiff. Oh god. Not the best start. Second half really changed it. Um Overall, to be honest, when you think about it, wasn't a terrible performance, but could have been so much better. Um not gonna throw my water bottle today. Can't fault them to be honest. I think had we taken our chances in the first half, I think it could have been a much different game. It could have been a much much different game, uh, and probably probably definitely should have been. Right. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to send assistant because I cared about press conferences when the game came out, but not so much now. Right. We are going when we are going to take a little bit of a skip to this day right here. Like I say, I wasn't going to play this game. 
However, given the fact it's Sheffield United versus Sheffield Wednesday, it's a Steel City derby, I feel quite obligated. So we are going to play this game. Uh, I will see you in a moment. Well, we're back and we're here for the Steel City derby in the Carabao Cup. Now we've made two changes uh, to the side that uh, played against... Uh, Cardiff City we brought on Liam Palmer and actually no we didn't make that second change did we no we didn't <laughs> okay we'll make that second change now uh, we're gonna bring on Kachunga for Adam Reach uh, playing a slightly different team uh, we're going very defensive because Sheffield United are in the Premier League and we're probably going to lose this game <laughs> which isn't ideal but we're gonna just see how we do so Westwood does stay in goal because obviously look, keepers make mistakes all the time uh, well, minor mistakes, and look, they it happens. But there's so much you can do. Best to stick with the, uh, uh, roughly the same starting eleven, so you uh, you know you're not rotating the squad too much. So that's not great. Uh, <laughs> but hey, look, we'll have to see what we can do. We're going to try and play this game in 2D view, by the way, uh, for performance sake. Uh, obviously, uh, the game did suffer a little bit but I think that's because of OBS to be honest because OBS is quite a thing uh, go out there and give the fans their money's worth I don't expect to win I'm not I'm gonna be realistic skip the proceedings here so 2d classic I know a lot of people love the match engine and I do too trust me but like I say in terms of Streamlabs OBS I think this is probably our best hope at least for now um, but we'll see what we can do later on in the series that's very dangerous. Looks for Bird. Oh, just over. Westwood has to collect that one. Luckily, it was off target. Um, I mean, if we can frustrate them and force them to uh, attack a little bit more so then we can counter, that would be very much ideal. I think that's the aim of the first half is to try and frustrate them and maybe take the energy out of them. Um, but based on stats, we're not playing too bad. We're equal with them on shots, and I don't know what that was. If that was meant to be a cross, I'm believing that was a cross. I'm hoping it was a cross and not a shot. I know the players like to take ridiculous shots sometimes. They they actually do. Um, like I said in the Cardiff game, I think it was with Harris, wasn't it? Um, where he took that shot from a ridiculous angle. And because Baldock is Lundstrom, it's saved by Westwood. Uh, quite easily, so straight at him. So Sheffield United are starting to uh, get a little bit better in terms of their their chances, but uh, we are we are containing them and defending pretty solidly. Um, I'm going to demand more because that usually does get, warrant a uh, a good response. Um, but we'll have to see what happens with that. So Westwood's going to take the goal kick. Gives it to Liam Palmer. Started in purely because he's a Wednesday act through and through. You let me down, lad. <laughs> the XG ain't looking fantastic, but I didn't expect it. I mean, to be fair, I expected worse, given the fact that they are Premier League opposition, so I don't think we're playing too bad. Um, I wouldn't say I'm delighted. I'm saying I'm happy. I'd say I'm happy. Um, we'll have a look and see who we can change. Because I'm going to make a change now. I'm going to take off Luongo. Start Bashiru. Let's see what we can have. I'm going to have him be an advanced playmaker. Right. And that'll be the, the one change we make for now. When it gets to about 60 minutes, we'll make our next change. So Baldock's now on the ball. Just try and contain him, lads. Here's Fleck now. Oh, it was going off target anyway, but I'm glad Westwood did catch it. Not happy he did that. And Bruce, oh, what a f save. My bad, sorry. I don't usually swear. I'll have to bleep that out. <laughs> I'll have to bleep that out. Right, we're, we're about 63 minutes. I said I'd make a substitution at 60 minutes. Right, we'll, we'll bring on Jack Marriott, actually. Um, 
No, I'll do. So bring on Jack Marriott. Hopefully he can make the difference when we get chance to bring him on. After this bit of play, and oh, this is a goal. Oh, good save. Well held. Oh, he's offside anyway, so it wouldn't matter. We're not playing too bad here, actually. I'm tempted to maybe go a little bit more attacking. Purely for the fact that, you know, we are playing pretty well. Like, we are frustrating them. I think if it gets to about 75 minutes and it's still nil-nil, I'm tempted to maybe go slightly more attacking. Although, they are seeing a lot of the ball in our half at the moment. So, maybe that's not wise. Maybe we do play for a nil-nil and force a replay. There are replays in the Carabao Cup, and there will be. Don't go straight to penalties. I don't know. Does it go straight to penalties? I don't really follow the Carabao Cup, to be honest. Oh, it's just over. Good. Head it away. Oh, it's half cleared, but then again, it's it's not a highlight. Yeah, we are... I think I think we hold on for a nil-nil, to be honest. I'll be honest. I think we do. I think we hold on for a nil-nil. I think we'd be a little bit silly. Let's go for anything more than that. Oh, my... Oh, that was dangerous. And slightly unlucky as well. Right. Bring on our final substitution. We're going to bring off... Tell you what. We'll do what we did last time. Pelopessi can come off. Because Pelopessi's Pelopessi. Need I say more? Need I say more? <laughs> This looks like it could be nil-nil, which I'm more than happy to take. I'm more than happy to take a nil-nil right now. Um, unless Kachunga can make something of this. Marriott. Here's Palmer. Can he get across him, Palmer? Falls to Adam Reach. He's just come on. Deli Bashiru. Kachunga. Oh, off target anyway, but keep had to make the, make the save there. Van Aken has the ball, takes his time and throws it straight to a Sheffield United player, but goes out for a throw in. Here's Lundstrom. Cross comes in, headed away. Get it out, lads, come on. Corner to Sheffield United. <laughs> They're on top of us now. They're on top of us. Headed away. Fleck. Come on, surely that's it. Surely that's the last one. Surely. Baldock. Brewster. Goes out for another corner. I'm going to get FMD. No, I'm not actually. Goes out for a Sheffield Wednesday throw in. Let's see what happens here. So Palmer has a throw in. Gives it to Kachunga. Kachunga will try and bring it forward for the last attack of the game. Goes out for a throw in. Is that it? Are we, are we holding them to a nil-nil? Or do we have one last chance on the cards with five of the four played? Palmer. Taking his time here, Palmer. Gives it to Reach. Palmer collects it. Dele Bashiru, shot, it's over. And that's it. Oh, wait, no, it's... Oh, we have penalties. Okay. I don't care if you want, don't want to take a penalty. You're taking a penalty, lad. So Barry Bannon will be the first penalty taker. Barry Bannon with a penalty and he hits the post. Are you kidding? Oh no, don't do don't do me like this. Do not do me like this, please. Oh it's saved! <laughs> okay, no, that's fine then. That's fine. So Marriott now. Marriott's gonna step up and take the penalty. So Jack Marriott steps up. Where's he gonna go? It's into the back of the net and we're one up on penalties. Can we? Knock Sheffield United out of the Carabao Cup. And they are level on penalties. And Kadeem Harris puts one in. Good lad. Oh, it's Jack. If we can see the Jack Rodwell, I'll cry. And we do. Oh, goodness sake. Come on, Kachunga. Do us proud. 
Come on, do us proud. And he misses, of course he misses. Of course he misses. That's it, isn't it? If they score this, there's, there's no coming back. And it's saved. Come on, come on, Reach. You have to score this, and Westwood has to save the next one. Please, Reach. Come on, Adam, Reach. Come on. And it's saved. Straight at the keeper. Straight at the keeper. This is it. So if Baldock scores this, we're out. If Baldock scores this, we're out. And it's saved. It's saved. God, this is a... This is not the best penalties, is it? Farmer, and it's saved. Again, straight at the keeper. He's in the middle, lad. Aim for either side. Don't just go down the middle. Right, so if they score this, we're out. Which it's looking like. Which I won't be too bothered. It's just the fact it's Sheffield United. Had it been anyone else, I wouldn't be bothered. And that's it. We're out. We're out of the Carabao Cup. Unlucky in the end, because... I think we played decently in the game, but it wasn't lucky. But it is what it is. So we go out on penalties, but I'll be honest, I don't think we played too bad. I'll praise Westwood because to be honest, he had a he had a pretty good game then. Other than the penalties of course, but penalties are a lottery as they say. So the next game's gonna be Watford. I will stop the recording here and I'll see you in two seconds. Well, here we are for the final game of the episode. Yes, I know. I said I would have probably played Bristol City as well. Uh, but I didn't expect to get Sheffield United in the Carabao Cup. So we are going to look to aim uh, to uh, do about three games per episode. So this is our last game of this specific episode. So what we are going to do this time... We are actually going to trust our assistant manager. We are going to do that in terms of the players, and that's about it, really. I think tactics-wise, we're going to uh, stay relatively the same, if not similar. Uh, but this is our starting eleven. So we've got Westwood in goal, then we've got Palmer, Iorfa, Van Aken, and Penny, Pelopese, Luongo, Bannon, Reach, Harris, and Patterson. We're not going to play very defensive. We're going to play cautious, I think, against Watford, because I feel like we can get something from this game. And considering that we're at home, we'll have home advantage. Um, just a quick glance over everything else. How the tactics are going to be. <clears throat> Pardon me there. We are going to distribute, uh, distribute to target man. And when we're out of position, we're going to push the attacking line maybe a bit further up if we can. No, we can't. Okay, that's about as far as we can uh, for both. Okay. Uh, defensive, we're going to force the opposition inside rather than outside. Hopefully that will uh, help us in the long run uh, and then we're going to also attack a little bit wider as well so with that being said I think we're ready to submit our team and this is the game against Watford I'm going to suggest uh, <clears throat> go out there and impress me or uh, yeah I think that's the that's the most realistic one that we can that we can do there so here we go the final match of the game uh, sorry, of the episode, not of the game. The final match of the episode, and it is against Watford. We're looking to get our first uh, quote-unquote points on the board. Obviously, we are still on minus six after that defeat to Cardiff, which is unfortunate. And we get a corner very early on, so this is positive. And we'll be Bannon with the corner. Corner comes in, headed away. Harris will get onto it as well. Back to Bannon. Patterson. Some decent football outside the box, but no end product. So we do have a free kick, actually. Penny swings it in, and Foster collects it. And that could have been very, very dangerous indeed. Uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't. So now Watford are looking to try and attack as well now. Uh, we need to make sure that we don't concede early on. Because early goals can be just as damaging as goals just before half-time. It can really hurt confidence as... If I tried to swing it in and it's off target there, uh, that could have been a devastating goal had that gone in. Look to find Patterson, he's obviously the target man, uh, but that's come to nothing. But Van Aken's equal to that. Harris now on it. 
Harris looking for Patterson. That's a decent ball to Patterson, but he has no one with him. Looks for Harris. Finds Harris. Harris shoots, and it's been tipped over by Foster, and we win a corner. Penny, I don't know why Penny's taking the corner. To be honest, that should be Bannon. But okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Not a bad start to the game. I think if we can get a point, that'll be a positive one. Uh, but we want more than that. Bannon with a free kick. It's headed away. That's a poor free kick, to be honest, from Barry Bannon there. And Harris. Harris looking to shoot. And it's off target. Had that been on target? Ah. <sighs> bit frustrating there, to be honest. Queen up. Troy Deeney now. Chalaber. Gives it to Saar. Saar's making a decent run here, but it's wide. Goes out for a goal kick there. And it's cleverly with the corner. Headed away by Pelopesi. That's good. Um, very good from Pelopesi, actually. Um, it's Kapu. Chalaber, Deeney. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Oh, it's Deeney, and it's straight in the hands of Westwood. So that is good. Because when that ball went in, I saw Deeney on his own, and none of our players were really pressing him. It was very concerning. But you look at the XG. XG-wise, we are actually, well, towards the end of the first half, essentially. Well, actually, no, actually, you say over the course of the game, okay, so they've had, they've had a couple of times where they've been on top of in terms of XG. But look. Our XG has been better. Now, I know XG doesn't guarantee goals or anything, essentially, really. It's just, well, expected to score doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to score. Um, but it is looking positive. I think we're doing okay at the moment. Uh, six shots, two on target, compared to their eight and four. Um, overall, I'm actually quite pleased with that, to be honest. Um, I'm happy with the performance so far, guys. Keep it up. So we have made a substitution. Izzy Brown has come on for uh, in place of Adam Reach. Um, I felt like the change was needed. Again, I want to try and give uh, Izzy Brown as much game time as I possibly can. And Watford have just won a corner very early on. This could be very dangerous, actually. Let's see what comes of it. Cleverly's corner is headed away by Luongo. So good, good work there by Luongo. It's cleared, or half cleared, should I say, because Watford still have the chance. And that's the end of the highlight. Oh, that's not ideal though, 21st, they're on a point at the moment. Um, I know it's only the second game of the league season, but we've got to, we've got to try and push as much as we can uh, to get these points on the board, uh, which is why I'm tempted to go attacking. Because I don't think we're playing too bad, I don't necessarily think they've had a, a tremendous amount of chances, to be honest. I think we've actually had more chances than them. Here's Barry Bannon, Van Aken, Kadeem Harris beaten to it but Matt Penny oh. Penny oh Saar oh well that was that was uh... <laughs> yep need I say more <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't great from Watford now was it it was scary in the build up but then uh, that end product was uh, left a lot to be desired didn't it always press Tom cleverly man he's, he's actually a really good player um Shame it didn't work out for him at Man United in real life, but it is what it is. João Pedro, Capu, Chalaber. Okay, they're really pressing now. Here's Saar. That's a good chance. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. That looked like a chip. We'll have to see for the replay. What happened here? That looked like a chip to me. Oh, it's a good ball to him, and no one's there with him. Oh, and he's, he's chipped Westwood, hasn't he? Oh. Uh, you can't take anything away from that, to be honest. You can't take take anything away from that. That's a good goal, that. Well, we have no reason to play defensive now, and I need to make a substitution again. Okay, Bannon can stay on. Hmm. Yeah, this is why I don't go with assistant manager, because no, no one's available. But I suppose I need more attacking players. Right. I'm going to bring on Kachunga. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, honestly, I think both sides have been level, to be honest. I think 
we deserve a goal as much as they have. It's just they've took their chance and we haven't. And we've had we've had we've had more than enough, I think, definitely. And here comes Kadeem Harris, who's about to be subbed. Did I sub it? I think so. Yeah. Patterson. Oh, it's an equaliser. It's an equaliser. Callum Patterson. What a goal. Well, I say what a goal. I mean, I'm in 2D view. I'll have to see the replay, but there we go. So Harris is here. He sends the cross in, and Pat is, that is actually a decent goal. His back was pretty much to goal, so. Yeah, Callum Patterson. Um, yeah, I will anyway. I'll, I'll proceed with that. But yeah, if we can get a point here, that that's that's brilliant. That that's a good goal. I, I I can take that. I can take that. So now we have to hold on. Now I'm think I am thinking about going defensive now because I don't want to lose this game. Which knowing football manager, I'm probably going to lose this game. Let's see what comes of this play. Kiko sends it to Kapu. Kapu and he oh. I'm just going to call him Jeremy because his first name's Jeremy. I can't pronounce that second name. <laughs> sends it wide. Jeremy sends it wide. So here's Jeremy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew it. I called it. And Westwood got a touch on it as well. Oh. That's frustrating. We've lost it in the dying embers of the game. Yep. Yeah. Westwood got his hands on it. It deflected in. It's unfortunate. You, you, you can't stop those. You can't stop those. Too little, too late, but we're, we're, we're going to try. Westwood collects. That could have been 3 1. And that would have been really harsh on the scoreline because I think we have played decently. Plays a little bit hesitant to get on the ball now. Here's Murray. And that's over. Out for a corner. Cleverly with a corner. Well, what, we're going to make it 3-1. Headed away by Orpha. Izzy Brown gets on it. Can we have one last ditch effort? And that might be it. That might be it. And that was not the best ball. And that, I'm afraid, might be it. And there we, there it is. That's a full-time whistle. We've lost 2-1 to Watford at home. Not the best start to the season. I'll say unlucky because, I'll be honest, I don't think we played too badly. Um, against a team who probably are going to get automatically promoted. But it is what it is. We'll keep fighting. But games are going to be coming thick and fast and we've, we've got to... We've got to win more games than that. So, three games played in all competitions. And that's three defeats. Two in the Championship, as you can see. And, obviously, the Carabao Cup as well. Uh, that we lost on penalties to Sheffield United. Not the best start as life as manager of Sheffield Wednesday. But I'm confident that we can turn it around. Um, I think we thoroughly deserved at least a point from the two games that we played in the Championship. At the very least, I think the Watford game, we, we certainly deserve something from. Uh, the Cardiff game, I, I, again, I think we could have probably gotten something from, probably should have gotten something from, but in the end, didn't. So as you can see, our next game is against Bristol City in the Championship. That will be back for Episode 2 of the Sheffield Wednesday save of the Wednesday way, where we look to try and avoid relegation from the Championship. It's going to be tough, but like I say, it's a challenge I'm willing to take on. But we have to make sure that we start taking our chances. Because that's the thing with this team. We're getting chances. We're just not getting the goals. And I'm confident that when we grow a little bit more comfortable with how we're playing. And the, and the team come more, become more familiar with the tactics that I have in place. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we can get out of this relegation fight. I'm confident. Uh, I just hope the players are confident as well. I think it is a realistic aim. Uh, but that's it for this episode, guys. I shall see you when I see you. Maybe next week, maybe a little bit longer, depending on what things come up in my life regarding university and other things. Uh, but I'll try and get these episodes out as fast as possible. Because um, I am actually thoroughly, uh, thoroughly enjoying uh, making these, uh, even though I've only this is essentially my first proper episode. But yeah, um, I will see you guys next time. 
Uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe, sanitize your hands, all that malarkey, and I shall see you in the next episode. Catch you later, guys.